it's been, I, I honest, I, it's been very strange to be closed because we're never closed. After we've been closed for a month, two months, three months, right? These animals had never gone a stretch of time without seeing people. All of a sudden, it's like they were popping up going, hey, hey, a person at last. Hey, hey, I'm over here. These animals are very intelligent. They are very curious. They're very engaged with their surroundings. So it's really quite enriching to have people to interact with. It's great for the animals to reopen, and certainly I think it'll be great for the public. They'll see some animals that are really excited and happy to see them back. On the night of the storm, there was about 18 of us here, uh, and the reason why we were here, obviously, was to take care of the animals. And we had prepared for flooding, but nothing like what happened. So the immediate aftermath of the storm was the aquarium was flooded to a depth of three to four feet across much of it. Um, and all of the basements, which contain a lot of the infrastructure, were flooded out. What are the steps to getting back? Honestly, I was thinking about that within the first 24 hours. The best part of my job, honestly, the part of my job that I enjoyed the most was when I would stand in the lobby as kids were coming through the door and they would literally be jumping up and down with excitement saying, we're going to see sharks, we're going to see sharks. There's a larger story to tell here about Sandy, about the aquarium, and about what Sandy sort of stands for in terms of living in a coastal city in an era of dynamic climate. We will tell that story and it's going to be, it's an important story for us to tell. It's an important conservation story and it's an important story about our history. How we're going to tell that, what's the best way to tell that story, we don't know yet, but you can bet that's going to be part of our story when we reopen. Mm -hmm.